Hey guys, it's Ryan here with Ryan Markets. In this video, I'm gonna go over a change that just occurred on August 1st of 2019 with Google Ads match types, specifically for phrase and broad match modified. Now this happened last year a couple times with exact match where Google decided to loosen up that match term and they've once again have pushed now towards some of the looser terms already which are broad match modified and phrase and have changed those altogether. It's gonna change the way that we are advertising. So I'm gonna jump into this video specifically of what those changes are and how they affect you and why Google's doing that. So let's jump in right now. Okay, on this screen you'll see a table I made with right off the bat we're talking about phrase match and the changes that happened there. Uh, beforehand, a phrase match would be able to show on any search that contained this exact order of keywords, nothing in between, but it will also allow for words in front of or in back of, and it will also account for pluralization um, in the words themselves. So this first one is simply just the exact phrase lawn mowing service prices that's going to show on. Uh, seasonal lawn mowing services, this is plural, so it's still gonna show on that. Now this is before the update, but since changing, uh, it's gonna also allow for variations in the, act, the exact keywords within that phrase, so lawn mowing and service. Any variation of each one of these words with the same intent, Google is fairly good at judging what the intent is behind it, it will show on. Grass cutting services near me, so grass is gonna replace lawn, they know that's associated, and cutting is gonna replace mowing. Uh, lawn, uh, local lawn cutting services, They'll also account for misspellings, which wasn't a thing beforehand with phrase matches, so it's also gonna pull in misspelled keyword uh, search queries as well. This is going to apply to broad match modified uh, keyword match types in a similar fashion. The really, the main difference here is just gonna be variation in the keywords. So lawn mowing service, grass cutting and gardening service, rates for services that cut your grass. There's just gonna be more variation in what's gonna be this keyword is gonna show in front of, whereas before uh, it wasn't gonna allow for such variation in these specific keywords. Now let's go over why Google is doing this. There's a few reasons. First is uh, revenue, it ultimately comes down to revenue and Google gets the vast majority of their revenue from advertisers and it turns out that about 15% of all searches made are absolutely new. They've never been made before. They're just variations of uh, what people are looking for and everyone is just slightly different. And the way that people are currently using match types, it limits how many searches Google's ads can get in front of. So they wanna open that up. They wanna open up these match types to allow ads to get in front of more searches, that remaining 15% so that more people click ads and they make more money in the long run. So they're also looking to improve usability. If you look at any platform such as Facebook, Google, YouTube, uh, even if you look at like video games, they're always working to dumb down the system. They're trying to make it easier to use. Um, and this is the case with Google Ads, especially the past several years, I've seen them make consistent engineering changes to make their system easier to use for someone who doesn't really know what they're doing. And this is one of those. And a lot of companies are gonna say, this is just a oh, constant improvement. We're just constantly trying to improve the system and make it better for you, the end user. But really, I think this is a money play and it's likely a long play to capture more small business marketplace because they know there's a lot of small um, mom and pop shops that don't have the time or money and simply wanna throw up an ad, hand over control to Google, and then Google can spend your money as they please. Um, also automation, so Google's automation has been continually improving over the past several years and uh, by loosening up the match types, campaigns and ad groups are gonna bring in more data than they would before, which is gonna help them make automation more viable for local businesses because right now with a local business they don't bring in enough data or leads to justify using a bid optimization strategy such as target cost per action CPA just because there's not enough uh, actions that are taking place for the system to really spot patterns and once again over the past several years Google has displayed some patterns of uh, pushing out, trying to capture more market space with the small business sector and pushing out marketers in the meantime. 
Um, this is apparent with Google Express, which is Google's done-for-you system, as well as home service ads, which is basically a managed uh, service that Google offers some home services in certain areas. Uh, I don't see this changing. I see it continually uh, increasing over the next several years. So we'll see where that goes. Um, now, what does this mean for you? It depends on whether you're a small business or a marketing agency, but either way, the first thing that you're gonna probably wanna do is leverage ad group level negative keywords. So on each ad group, let's use the lawn, um, the lawn mowing service example that we used before in this video. In this scenario, if you wanna negate cutting in grass, you gotta put those as negative keywords um, on that specific ad group just to negate that from actually showing. Um, so that's the only way that we can control that at this point in time. The other thing that you may wanna consider, and this is actually before this change, is um, less need for granularity within local accounts. So if you're running this for a local business, you don't have that much data, maybe you're running $1,000, 2000 a month, 3000 4000 um, In that scenario, you can really just compile more keywords into a single ad group. The SCAG style of doing things, single keyword ad groups, has kind of diminished over time. It's still useful. Uh, for usually larger accounts, more complex accounts. If you really wanna optimize, stick with granularity, but if you just don't have as much time, uh, start adding more keywords into a single ad group as long as they have the same intent behind them. And the total conclusion for this is the changes are, they're fairly good for the average mom and pop local business who doesn't wanna spend time or money on running ads. This is a great way to easily increase leads for your business without having some sort of middleman. I mean, there's still going to be a need for middlemen because they can produce results for you that this system alone can't. It's still not that good at this point in time. Um, but for the larger brands, this is a big change that's really gonna affect them because they are unable to make those customized complex accounts that really target their specific needs when it comes to advertising. Um, so this is gonna loosen up their campaigns and they have a little bit less control. And in order to combat that, they're gonna have to use a lot of negatives. And uh, it just makes things a little bit more difficult for those bigger brands and a little bit easier for the smaller companies. Um, that's it for this video. I'll keep updating you guys with any new updates with Google Ads, changes from those. Um, I would expect a lot more changes in the future. They happen several times throughout every single year. Uh, if you're a marketing ad agency, don't worry. I actually kind of do like the loosening up of these keywords. It does make management a little bit easier, but still necessary at the same point. Uh, but also know that you know management services may not be needed for most small local businesses uh, 10 or 15 years from now. So start planning for the future. Um, and until next time, guys, like this video if you like the content. Subscribe if you want more videos on Google Ads and lead generation, SEO, marketing in general. And uh, leave a comment if you have any questions on this in particular. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.